Raider Nation, thanks for those rumors. Now I'm going to get into my next segment. Three possible trades the Raiders could make before the deadline. Players that they could potentially send away because, I don't know, they've been sending away a lot of players. So, three trades the Oakland Raiders could make before the deadline. For you who do not know when the trade day deadline is, it's Tuesday, October 30th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll make it easier. That's 1 p.m. Central Time. Gruden has stated that there is going to be no more trades that are going to happen. But you look at me dead in the eyes and tell me who believes what John Gruden has to say at this point. I know I don't. So the fact that he's already said it doesn't quite give me the confidence. So here are three trades the Oakland Raiders could make before the deadline. The first guy that I think that they could potentially trade is a cornerback, Rashawn Melvin. The veteran voices frustrations after being benched in the loss of the Seattle Seahawks, and he's just struggled to master the techniques preferred by the Raiders' defensive coaches. Gruden responded critically to the public about Rashawn Melvin. Now, Melvin is on a one-year deal, and he could be down on the depth chart and isn't likely part of the long-term Raiders' plan due to his age. A quarterback-hungry team might want someone who has a solid... I don't know. Colt in 2017, sure he was banged up, but he was still produced, you know, pretty solid numbers. So maybe Rashawn Melvin could be on the way out. He is an undrafted guy from 2014 out of Northern Illinois, and for 2018, 20 tackles, seven pass breakups, and one interception. Rashawn Melvin has been hit or miss. I get it, but I think it's a team who maybe needs some sort of veteran help at the cornerback position could go out and trade for Rashawn Melvin. I want to give a shout out today's sponsor, BetDSI, for hooking us up with the best promo code on the internet. And if you don't believe me, I challenge you to find a better one. Yeah, you're not gonna. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. You're gonna use promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. You can bet on the Raiders. If you don't want to bet on the Raiders, I don't blame you. You can bet on any NFL game of your choosing. Remember, chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. The next Raider that could potentially be traded before the deadline is Garyon Conley. A guy who was one of my breakouts, and I'm just going to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for putting him as one of my breakouts, and a lot of you told me, and I'll give you a lot of shout-outs, yeah, Garyon Conley's not going to be a breakout, Mitch. You're an idiot. Well, he's definitely fallen out of favor in Oakland, and he didn't play a single snap in Week 6. So, what the heck are we going to do with a guy who was a 2017 first-round pick out of Ohio State? A player who, again... I will say that I actually liked coming out. He's long, he's athletic, and I actually think Garyon Conley, from an athletic standpoint, is a good cornerback. And he just doesn't have it up here. <laughs> like, he just doesn't have it up north, and the fact that he can't get it together with all that athleticism, the guy who can't stay healthy, I think it's time to just say, hey, Garyon, you know, Garyon, my wayward son, get out of here, time to leave. The next guy who could potentially be traded before the deadline, and I think this is the most likely, it's Carl Joseph. Another First round pick by the Oakland Raiders. This one, though, was in 2016. The Raiders have reportedly been shopping the 2016 first round pick and been looking for a high payout for someone who is just underwhelmed since leaving West Virginia. He has a hamstring injury, but even when healthy, Joseph was the Raiders' for safety behind Marcus Gilchrist, Reggie Nelson, and Eric Harris. Joseph has the talent and big playability, but it's possible the Raiders will take an offer for him before the deadline. He actually... As I stated before, I think is the most likely player to be dealt. Why would somebody deal for Carl Joseph? Upside. It's the sheer upside. A guy who was compared to Earl Thomas when he was first coming out. I didn't make the comparison. It's one that I've read on Google. If you don't believe me, Google it yourself. First round pick out of West Virginia. A guy who's only played 11 snaps for the Raiders. 11 snaps. So maybe a team's going to take a chance on Carl Joseph's sheer upside. So, I want to know from you, who will the Raiders trade next? Give me a heart for Joseph, give me a mad face for Melvin, give me a like for Conley, or if you don't think it's going to be anybody, give me a wow face for nobody. Me personally, I'm going to say I think they're going to end up trading Joseph. I think he's the most likely player to be traded. So, tell me, Raider Nation, who will be the next Raider to be traded? If you guys love what I do here, please subscribe to YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. Tell your friends, tell your family. Tell random hobo down the street to go to youtube.com slash Raiders Report and please subscribe so you guys can see my new shows that I do about the Raider Nation Report. And if you want to be on the new show, guess what? you got to subscribe. youtube.com slash Raiders Report.